Dr. Rackett has an interesting tool called the Stepper that shows you each step in the evaluation of a program. You won't necessarily need to use the Stepper very often, but in the right circumstances, it can be helpful in finding a problem with your program. Here I've put a complicated expression into the definitions window, and then we click on the step button, and that will open the stepper window. The original expression is on the left side of the screen, and a partially evaluated version is on the right. The stepper starts with one of the sub-expressions that has to be evaluated first, in this case, 2 times 4. It's highlighted in green, and its corresponding value is highlighted in purple on the right side. So you can see that the 2 times 4 is going to evaluate to 8. Now, if we press the Step Forward button, then the green expression is replaced by the value from the previous step, and then the next expression is highlighted in green on the left. You can go back to the previous step by hitting the Step Backwards button, and you can see exactly how the expression changes as it's been evaluated. In this case, we can see that the 3 plus 5 is going to be replaced by 8. You step forward and see that happen. Then we can see in green, 8 plus 8 is going to be replaced by the purple 16. And step forward and we see that happen. And you can keep stepping through the program and watch the expression get evaluated step by step until you get to the final answer. And you can go forwards and backwards as you need to. So sometimes if you have a problem with the program, and you can't figure out just by reasoning through the programming and looking through the design of the program. Sometimes you can step through programs and see exactly where something unexpected is happening. The stepper also works with definitions that you write yourself. Here I have a sample function here and when we click on the stepper button, it brings up the window and we see the first application of that function is highlighted in green. And on the right, we see the definition of that function with the 3 substituted in for x. We can use our step keys as before and see exactly how the function gets evaluated step by step. And we get a final answer. And as before, we can go backwards here. But sometimes we don't want to go into the function. We know it works, or that's not the part of the program we're interested in. We just need to see what the value of the function is. And the application value, the application button will step you forward an entire application without going into each step of how the function works. So for instance, if we press the application button, we see that it evaluates to 21, and then we go on to the next expression. You can go backwards with the application just as before. So with functions, you have the option of stepping into them using the step keys, or just evaluating them all at once using the application button.